type. A state capital investment committee visits Greater Mankato today as part of a three-day trip throughout southern Minnesota. Maddie Paul joined senators in Mankato, North Mankato, and Waseca as they learned more about planned projects requesting to be a part of next year's bonding bill. Uh, but we're seeing projects across the state uh, from wastewater, from parks, to uh, you name it, from community centers. Hopefully we'll get a good bill that will uh, get some of these needs met. The Senate committee spent a part of Tuesday visiting Mankato for four proposed projects. Renewing Riverfront Park regional access at $1.8 million, reducing flood risks in the Upper Canyon River watershed at 300000 updating the Southern Minnesota Children's Museum, and replacing Armstrong Hall at MSU for $74 million. Armstrong Hall is the most expensive project out of nearly 40 in over 20 communities. That will be a high priority for the Minnesota state system and hopefully it can be done through the bonding bill this year. In North Bankato, senators heard from officials about how a Caswell Park Fieldhouse could bring regional athletes for various sports training and playing. As the chief author, I would like to see the bonding committee approve the project. They need about 12.7 million and that would be matched by the taxpayers of North Mankato through the local option sales tax. The committee also traveled to places like Lesore, Eagle Lake, Janesville, and Waseca. In Waseca, officials asked senators to consider renewing the water tower and fixing iodine and sewage issues through the bonding bill. And I think water treatments and things like that with what's, how it's affecting Clear Lake here in Waseca is very important. So uh, looking at these projects, we'll have to look at which ones we think are the most important. And obviously this one here in Waseca is very important. Maddie Paul. KEYC News Now. Tomorrow, the committee members will head east into the Austin, Faribault, and Rochester areas.